Moses is dead. And then it moved. And it said after a while, they said the Lord called Joshua to a summit. It said the Lord spake unto Joshua. Now let us not run past that. Because the very idea that he is called the Lord, that suggests the supreme title. Yeah, yeah. In some scriptures we read of him being Jesus. In other scriptures we hear about him being Christ. But when he rose and introduced or reacquainted himself to Thomas, Thomas called him Lord. Yeah. Oh. So many of us just know him as Jesus. Some folk have been in the church for years and they just know him as Christ. But for you to call him Lord, it requires surrender. For him to be Lord, it requires commitment. For him to be your Lord requires you saying, I yield. I yield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As Jesus that dealt with his body, yeah. as Christ, the spotlight was on his soul, yeah. but as Lord that deals with his spirit. Yeah. As Jesus, he is a friend. As Christ, he was firm. As Lord, he is faith. Yeah. As Jesus, that's the man. Christ, that's the Messiah. Lord, that's the Master. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, he is a sufferer. Christ, he is a Savior. Lord, he is sovereign. Jesus, he is the way. Christ, he is the truth. Lord, he is the life. It's Jesus, he planned it. Christ, paid for it. Lord, he preserved it. Jesus, he was a teacher. Christ, he was a reacher. As Lord, he was the preacher. You ain't talking to me. As Jesus, he died. Christ, he rose. Lord, he's coming back again. Jesus, he is a director. Christ, he is a selector. Lord, he is a protector. As Jesus, he died before lunch. Christ buried before supper. Lord got up before breakfast. Preach the guy I am, they ain't saying nothing. And the Lord. The Lord. I believe in Greek that's Kyrios. Lord. God is Theos. Church Ecclesia. Man, Homo sapien, woman, Gune, world, cosmos, hell, Artemis, preacher, Caruso, word, logos, I'm preaching to y'all just ain't saying that. The Lord, the Lord spoke to Joshua. And if you can't rejoice about nothing else this morning, good streets, you ought to rejoice. Over the very fact that he who spoke in the long ago yeah. is speaking now. Yeah. He speaks through situation. He speaks through circumstances. He speaks through sicknesses. He speaks. Every time we read his word, he's speaking. What a beautiful thing, what a beautiful model to have, the church of the open Bible. Yeah. And I just pass by to encourage you, make sure that you keep the Bible open. Because he's speaking. God has spoken variously, voicing the medium of revelation. God has spoken universally, voicing the magnitude of revelation. Yeah, yeah. He has spoken continuously, maintaining the ministry of revelation. Yeah. He has spoken savingly, demonstrating the motive of revelation. Yeah. He 
he has spoken finally through his son, voicing the maximum of revelation. Whatever you do, make sure that you keep the Bible open. For if you keep the Bible open, an open Bible will encourage you and inspire you to keep your hands open. An open Bible will encourage you to keep your arms open. An open Bible will encourage you to keep your eyes open. Our hands must remain open that we might help the homeless and the helpless. Our arms must remain open that we might embrace one another and reach out to a fallen, stricken humanity.